What the? What's that all about? I'd watch your back, pal. You're a marked man. How marked? Worth is there's a hundred thousand dollar bounty on your head. Mr. McMahon, it is absolutely inexcusable that someone would put a price on my champion's head. If he can't compete, SmackDown loses ratings and revenue. A full investigation is underway, and I guarantee that we're going to figure out who put the price on your champion's head. In the meantime, I think it would be best for the champ to lay low for a few weeks until this settles down. What? But that... What I was going to say, uh, um, is that sounds like a great idea, Vince, Mr. McMahon. Big Show tonight. You've got a non-title match against a champion who we've just learned has a price on his head. Your thoughts? Just one. Tonight. I might not walk out of here with a championship, but I'll sure as hell earn that hundred grand bounty. And champ, when you're too beaten down to defend that title anymore, I'll be first in line for it. crowd is ready for some WWE action. I'm Michael Cole with Taz and Ringside. Yeah, LA, it's always full of stars, but tonight they're gonna get to see some WWE superstars. Do you feel the electricity in the air, Taz? Absolutely, Cole, no disrespect to the rock, but these guys are the most electrifying superstars in the WWE. Each of these superstars is just a quick three count away from victory or defeat. Those two hired guns are fighting over the bounty. The champ isn't some animal. He's a human being, damn it. He's a mock man, Cole. I was thinking about trying to claim that bounty myself. He's definitely going to be a lot safer on Raw. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the newest member of the Raw roster, 
SmackDown's own WWE Champion. I think you'll find we do things a little differently on Raw, and we're a little tougher than you're used to. For instance, here's something that your old general manager didn't have the guts to say. If anyone on this show tries to claim any kind of bounty tonight, they'll be fined $150,000 and suspended for a month. So go and get ready, champ, because tonight's main event is a non-title match between you and Christian. here in Phoenix, Arizona, and around the world. This is Jim Ross, here with Jerry the King Lawler. This place is packed, JR. I know these fans can't wait to see the Raw superstars in action, and neither can I. This one has the potential to turn ugly quick, King. That's right, JR, and winning is great, but it's hard to enjoy it from a hospital bed. The ratings for your main event match last week were off the charts, and I can think of only one way to outdo it. Tonight's main event is a non-title match between you and Chris Jericho. And by the way, I'm granting you the honor of representing Eric Bischoff's Raw in a very special Survivor Series match this Sunday. After all, you can't defend your title on your own show, and if you're not in the pay-per-view, you won't get paid. Just sign the dotted line. Thanks, champ. Good luck out there tonight. I'm Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler, and this is Raw, live from Toronto. Listen to these fans here in Bizarro World, JR. If that isn't proof that Raw is the greatest brand of sports entertainment in the world, I don't know what is. This one has the potential to turn ugly quick. That's right, JR, and winning is great, but it's hard to enjoy it from a hospital bed.
That was a hell of a match, champ, but now I've got something important to say. As you know, I've had my people trying to figure out who put the price on your head, and even I was shocked when they told me. You see, it was Eric Bischoff. He figured if it wasn't safe for you, you'd have to leave SmackDown, which would hurt SmackDown by taking one of their champions away. And I've since spoken to Kurt Angle, champ, and you're hereby returned to SmackDown with a title match this Sunday at Survivor Series. All right, I admit it, but Mr. McMahon, you're the last person who should criticize someone for being cutthroat. Would you have done any less to me before I came to work for you? You know, you have a point there. And it was worth it for this. A signed contract giving me the right to put that man right there in a match representing Raw this Sunday at Survivor Series. My God, he's right! He's got the contract! What's SmackDown gonna do now, JR? Because this conflict requires a final resolution, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna have a six-man Hell in a Cell match for the title. A cross-brand Hell in a Cell match this Sunday for the title. And bragging rights. Don't forget that, JR. Raw's gonna show SmackDown what real superstars are made of. Survivor Series live on pay-per-view. Along with my broadcast partner, Taz, I'm Michael Cole, and what a spectacle this co-production of Raw and SmackDown is going to be. Ain't no doubt. SmackDown and Raw superstars trying to survive a Hell in a Cell match for the WWE title. This ought to be one for the ages. It's not every day that the SmackDown superstars find themselves in the ring against Raw superstars. You can literally feel the tension in the air. Welcome, Michael Cole and Taz here at ringside for an unbelievable evening of WWE reaction. This crowd's all fired up, Cole. They can't wait for the show to start, and neither can I. The title's on the line. It doesn't get any bigger than this. If this challenger wants to make his mark, he's going to have to tune out everything except his opponent. I bet that Christian's keeping a sharp eye out for any opportunity to bend the rules to his advantage. <laughs> He's just rubbing it in now. Next victim. Oh man, he's got absolutely no respect for his opponent. Jimmy 
Superfly Snooker. He's a real legend, straight up legend. I love the Superfly. both SmackDown and Raw superstars to do it. What a great victory. And more importantly, what a great victory for SmackDown. This is a Survivor Series to remember.